Recording in progress. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's 1 33 p.m. Today is Tuesday, September 19. This is the Board of Aspen Enforcement Meeting. Uh, my name is Patrick Seiler, Deputy Chief City Auditor. Uh, in place of Jerry Schampar, Treasurer, we have Nick Riley, Chief Accountant, Budget Director, uh, Gideon Grande, and our Common Council President, Carly Ellis. Right, we're going to break into it. Uh, so our first budget transfer is coming from the Department of General Services. So. Right, and also joining us is Council Member Sonia. So our first request is from EGS seeking to transfer fifteen thousand dollars from the contract and services line. Uh, more specifically, the waste disposal line uh, into their admin contract service line for $15,000. Uh, this cover the robotics, GIS, mapping services, and annual fee support for the uh, PPE vending machine. Second request from BGS seeking to transfer $15,000. 13000 of it coming from public outreach, 2000 coming from supplies materials. And the dollar amount is going to four different accounts. Uh, we have 2,000 of it going to park agents, other equipment line, uh, 6,000 into their admin supplies materials, 2,500 into the central maintenance, other equipment line, and the remaining 4,500 into the central maintenance supplies materials. This is to correct the info of EOs and to uh, use appropriate GLs. Third request is from the mayor's office. It was transferred $5,500 from their contract and services line into office equipment. Uh, this is to cover the purchase of a uh, computer and camera equipment. Next, we have a request from the neighborhood community services. Uh, so you can for $1,000 from supplies and materials to other equipment. And this is to cover the purchase of a computer. Uh, the next sample uh, transfers are from police. First, from police, uh, seeking to transfer five thousand thirty-three dollars um, from the supplies and materials line and fees and services. The total dollar amount is going to training and conferences to cover upcoming emergency service training expenses. Next, from police, seeking to transfer three thousand nine hundred five dollars from other equipment to supplies and materials. This is to correct the PO and use the appropriate GL. Uh, next, from police, you can transfer $792 from the supplies and materials line into training conferences. This is to cover upcoming special operations and training expenses. Next, request from police, you can transfer a total of $1,180. $1,170 coming from supplies and materials. $8,910 coming from contract and services. And the total amount of $12,080 is going into their contract and services building maintenance line. And this is to cover a uh, building filler expenses. What is the building chiller? Bill, I believe it's a part of the HVAC system. Uh, yeah, so overnight, basically, we create ice at low electricity periods off the and then run the air over the ice as far as it can get to. Okay. Turning. Really? So that's not an air conditioner? Not. Maybe we need that in the city council chamber. <laughs> not mechanical air conditioning. Maybe we need that in the city council chamber. <laughs> no, they're, they're very effective. Please be allowed to be too much. It's a good spot. Instead of finding the C at 2 o'clock in the afternoon of July and paying two grades. Maybe we need, I'm not, that's. That's all, right. all right. Next request from police to transfer eight thousand two hundred sixty nine dollars, one hundred ninety five for the furniture fixtures, uh, forty three hundred coming from contract services community response, two thousand three hundred seventy nine coming from supply materials, the remaining fourteen ninety five coming to forensic investigations contract services line, um, and the total dollar amount is going to the other equipment line. This is covered the purchase of a mobile service uh, surveillance system for investigation conducted by their detective unit. Then, our last request for police uh, seeking to transfer $10,005, uh, 7, 77 to 5 coming from their contract services, 
2,250 coming from supplies and materials. Uh, 950 of it going into the training conference line, the remaining 9,055 going into criminal expenses. I discovered their annual homicide school uh, expenses for a license plate uh, reader, U.S. Marshall uh, fugitive recovery expenses. Next request is from Biden Stats seeking to transfer $2,500 from contract services line into supplies and materials. This is cover expenses for the remainder of the year. Um, our next budget transfer request for the youth and workforce. We have 25000 coming from Summer Health into contracted services. This is to correct an earlier budget transfer request uh, that was meant to cover uh, summer program. The end of summer program celebrations that we do have, Raphael, uh, to expand on the news if necessary. So, what was the correction? Pardon? What was the correction? It was it Mount different or? Yeah, so I believe they moved funds into a miscellaneous line instead of moving into a time contract. contract. Mm -hmm. Next request from youth and workforce uh, seeking to transfer 62500 from supplies and materials into contracted services, and this is to cover uh, expenses. Any questions for budget transfers? Yeah, and I had one on police. Yep. Um, for the U.S. Marshall Fugitive Recoveries, is that just the expense reclassification or is that an appropriation? Is it, is like, are we just moving it to another one because that's where this is coming from? Yes. It's okay, yeah. that's it. All right, so we have a single increase appropriation coming from the youth and workforce. Uh, youth and Workforce received a grant from the New York State Office of Temporary Municipal Assistance to help support the city's summer youth employment program. Uh, the grant dollar, the grant dollar amount was a little over two hundred thirteen thousand dollars. Well, pardon me, a little under two hundred fourteen thousand dollars, should I say? Um, and they're adjusting their temporary health expense line to account for that for the same dollar amount. Um, like this grant uh, to support the program as it is, or to support, support the expansion of the program? I agree with you. Okay. Any other questions, concerns? All right. Can I have a motion, a motion to move the agenda? So moved. Moved by Corey Ellis. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Tony Frederick. Uh, can I get a motion to adopt the agenda? Those in favor say aye. 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 Those so opposed, it nay. Motion carried and the agenda has been approved. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved. Motion uh, by Sir Frederick. I get a second. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
the Department of General Services offer the following regard that the Secretary be authorized and directed to advertise for bid the following provisions of greenhouse structure and associated projects. Set proposals to be received by the board at a regular meeting held Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023 at 1 30, and that the bid and that a bid deposit is not required for said bid proposal. That concludes our agenda. Can I get a motion to accept the agenda? So moved. Seconded. Thank you. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Thank you. Second. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you so much. All right. Type of sandwich we want, right?